equal to so I just write that yes is equal to minus of R T natural log Q at equilibrium or instead of Q at equilibrium I just write K P right. So, okay. So, KP, I have put with the substrate P because we deal with pressures. Okay. And then, you see, KP was equal to pressure C, nu C, partial pressure of D, nu D by partial pressure of A nu A partial pressure of B nu B and if I invoke Dalton's law over here then what I will get is X of C nu C times P total to the power nu C x of d nu d p total nu d x a nu a p nu a x b nu b p nu b and all these pressures I can just calc you know combine into one term because they are all the same. So it is essentially uh, <coughs> the stoichiometries of products minus stoichiometries of reactant, sum of stoichiometries of product minus sum of stoichiometries of reactant. So I will just write minus delta nu. No, uh, product minus reactant. So minus is not required, right? P to the power delta nu, right? Which is Nu C plus nu D minus nu A minus nu B. And this will be useful. Maybe tomorrow's lecture it might be useful. But this one I just say that this is P to the power delta nu times K X. Now back back to something, back to basics, huh? What is the unit of K B? Huh? It depends on how many of you say it depends on the reaction. That's it. अरे ऊपर कुछ सही बोल रहे हो कुछ गलत बोल रहे हो पर ऊपर तो करो. How many of you say you know? Okay. Those of you say who know whatever. And this is something which I have mentioned earlier. Any equilibrium constant is dimensionless. Kx, well, Kx of course is dimensionless because x is dimensionless, so you will not get into that trouble. But this Tc, which I have written over here, comes from the fact that I know mu is equal to mu naught plus Rt log P upon P bar. Not, which we never write explicitly. When we describe the same thing with solutions, in solutions, in the case of solutions, I will show you later, maybe I can show you now itself. In the case of solutions, what you would write would be the K equilibrium you would write as C mu C D if all of these were solutions instead of gases if A, B, C, D were in solution, then you would write something like this. And I am sure you know. Again, the K is dimensionless. Because the correct way to write is not the concentration but the activities. And activities are dimensionless. Uh, instead of that, I would have activation activity of C raised to the power stoichiometry of C, activity of B, activity of A, activity of B. 
which are anyway dimensionless. But whenever I am writing the concentrations, the molar concentrations, I am always dividing by a standard concentration which is 1 mole per liter. Okay. So all your equilibrium constants, take it, are always dimensionless. Okay, let's go to some examples, huh? <coughs> now, let's think of, I have two examples here and a few more for the next lecture also. Uh, also, I have given you some one sheet on these useful expressions. So, you should know, I, I told you that if you know mu, you will know everything or if you know g, you know everything. Yes? So, that is what is given over here. Uh, right. So, coming back to the example, let us think of hydrogen plus carbon dioxide in equilibrium with water plus carbon monoxide. Now from your own experience, any experience or whatever you know, if I put hydrogen and carbon dioxide together, do they react? They do. Yes. They do not react. So let us say that the reaction does take place at some temperature, some pressure. Uh, I have given it to start with temperature is 298 Kelvin and pressure is 1 bar. So initial number of moles, the way you would do this would be, uh, that would be some A moles, that is B moles and then we do not have anything on the product side. <coughs> At equilibrium, the number of moles would be A minus X. So, initial at equilibrium, the number of moles would be B minus X. The stoichiometries are 1 for all of them. So, it is easy. And then my mole fractions. So the total number of moles is A plus B, A minus, yeah, you just add it up. So that is A minus X over A plus B, B minus X over A plus B, X over A plus B, X over A plus B. <coughs> so I give you the delta G of formation. So these values, delta G of formation of these uh, all these four uh, substances hydrogen carbon monoxide water and carbon monoxide carbon dioxide carbon monoxide in kilojoules per mole right so hydrogen in its standard I, we did not do any thermal chemistry right and we did not do it because it is something that you do a lot in your 12th standard. So, delta G of formation of pure substances is 0. So, hydrogen is 0 and this one is minus 396.6 minus 228.6. So, you are allowed to use calculators in your exam. I just realized by when I was writing these numbers with all these decimal places. But you are not allowed to share calculators. Another thing, the assignment is up on the website. You have to solve five of those questions which I have told you. Six? Okay, six. Uh, submitted on 19th, but please write your group numbers. Okay. So the coordinator has